Hey, what's up everyone? Jeremiah here. If you guys have a set of these DJI goggles and are going to be using them with the new Mavic 2 Pro or the Mavic 2 Zoom, then you're going to need to do a firmware update on these for them to work. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that here today using the DJI Assistant 2 software on a computer. Now the current firmware version that you guys are going to need for this to work is version 01.04.0500 and it was released on September 3rd, 2018. The version is going to give added support for the Mavic 2 and the Mavic 2 Zoom. Even though I don't have the Mavic 2 to test these out, there's been plenty of other YouTubers out there that have tried and tested this and the old goggles, the version 1 goggles do work with the new Mavics so you don't need to upgrade and buy the RE version. If you guys are interested in a way to link these goggles to your Mavics, I'll put a link below to a video that Billy Cow made and he gives a really good description of how to link them to the Mavics. So go ahead and check that out guys if you haven't already seen his channel, he got a lot of good content on there. Now I will be doing a lot of flights with my DJI Spark for now until I upgrade to the new Mavic 2. I'm still undecided on which one I want after seeing some videos about image quality of the Mavic 2 Pro and not using the full sensor so I'm still kind of undecided and up in the air on which ones that I should get. So if you guys have the Mavic 2 Zoom and the Pro, I'd like to know a few comments below on if the image sharpness is a little bit uh, better on the zoom than the pro because that's going to be a big deal for me and my decision. I want something, I'm a, basically a pixel peeper and I like the, to get a really crisp image and if I can't get that out of the Mavic 2 Pro then why, why even spend the extra money for that when I can benefit from some of the features of the zoom. I'll also post a link to another video in the description that explains them not using the full sensor so I'm hoping that DJI will be able to basically address this issue and clarify it maybe come out with an update in the future that actually makes the image a little more crisp. So the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is you're going to want to take the USB cable that came with the goggles and you're going to want to plug the micro USB part into the right underneath the headband here. Once you get that plugged in you're going to want to go ahead and make sure that you guys have the DJI Assistant 2 app or not app software download it onto your laptop or computer and then open up that and then once you plug this into the uh, USB port on your computer you're going to want to power them up like any other DJI product hit the button and then hit and hold once these power up the software should recognize them and show the goggles connected on the computer and then go ahead up through the update process it'll show you your current version that you're on and also the newest version there is out um, Sorry about all the background noise guys, there's a bunch of stuff going on over there at the college uh, football field. Horns going off, car alarms, so disregard that guys. So let's go and I'll show you exactly how to do that. Alright guys, so what you're going to want to do is open up the DJI software. Then you're going to want to plug your USB cable into the computer. And then you're going to want to turn on your goggles. This may take a few seconds for it to, to link up and find the goggles. There they are there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on those. Go to firmware updates up here in the corner. And you'll see that the current version that I'm on is 1.4.300. And I'm going to be upgrading to 1.4.500. That was released on... September 3rd, 2018. And then you can also see that I skipped the version 1.4.400 that came out in July of 2018. So I'm actually running two versions behind right now. So I'm going to go ahead over here, click on upgrade. It tells me it takes approximately five minutes. Make sure I'm connected to the internet and that the DJI device is powered on. So I'm going to start update. It's going to download the file first, so you're going to want to make sure you have good internet connection. And another thing guys, you're going to want to make sure that you update your DJI GO 4 app as well. The current version out as of today is version 4.3.0. Alright guys, now once it's downloaded, then it'll start updating. Now when it got to 49%, the goggles did disconnect, um, you could, and then you could hear them reset and start back up so we're going to go ahead and see here what happens oh so it went from 49 to 99 and it says update complete so i'm going to go ahead and click back 
check out the versions here and it shows that I'm currently on 01.04.0500 and it gives me the option to d downgrade on the other versions but when I was looking on the website about upgrading this for some reason it said it could not be downgraded but I'm not sure if that meant the goggles could not be downgraded or the app could not be downgraded on the iPhone so I'm not quite sure. I'm not going to go ahead and try to downgrade right now. I'm going to go ahead and try this out with this firmware version on my Spark and see how that works. Alright guys, so I got the firmware installed on the goggles, took my first flight with the Spark. And if you guys are interested in knowing how that went, stick around because I'll have that one coming up. There is definitely a couple things and a couple issues that I don't like about using the goggles with the Spark. So if you guys are interested in that, please hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you don't miss it if you already haven't done so and if you did I really appreciate it and also if you guys know anybody that could get any use out of this video at all they might be interested in it please share it I'd really appreciate it and if you have any questions comment below and as always guys happy flying and I'll see you on the next one